Previously on The Potentialists. Everything has been customized. You see all the bling. 47, 48. Finally got around to tackling this brake light. Your right one is off. I don't like to get rear-ended. <laughs> Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. Today, LJ and Eric were on their way to downtown Miami, where they were attending the 2013 Miami Web Congress at the James L. Knight Center. So after we checked in, we uh, ventured around the lobby area, which had a couple interesting exhibits. There was a graffiti wall, which really was just post-its that people wrote on. There was some 3D-ish trumpet player art. I knew the man's name at one point. He could blow his cheeks out to here. I remember seeing that as a kid. That was pretty cool. Then just pretty much explored and then took our seats in the amphitheater. I noticed though that while we were waiting for the web congress to start, I look over and LJ's on his iPhone editing. You can't get the man to stop editing. He's in the office editing, you take him away from the office, he's still editing. Then, while waiting still for it to start, it was a little delayed, we found out about the Wi-Fi. How much is the Wi-Fi here? <laughs> $50 for one day of A use. day. A day. That's five zero, not one five. There better be like pretty kicking Wi-Fi here. There better be like South Korea's. I'm sorry, what? South Korea has the fastest Wi-Fi, uh, fastest internet speeds in the world. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Is that true? That's true. I remember reading an article once. I, it definitely wasn't North Korea. I don't think they have internet. South Korea leads the world as the home of the planet's fastest internet, followed by Japan, Hong Kong, and Switzerland, with 8.6 megabytes per second compared to the average of 14.2. The U.S. is not even near the average. Latvia. Latvia has a faster internet connection than the United States of America. Is something wrong with that? Sorry to the Latvians. And then later we found out that they gave us a free passcode to sort of log in, so the fee was waived. So I'm charging back that $50. I'm gonna take you to a full day of juicing. Lemon, orange, carrot, pepper. That's gonna be my breakfast for today. The first thing we have in the morning is hot water with lemon and ginger. And the reason for this? To drink lemon water in general is good in the morning because it helps increase your metabolism, increase your um, immune system, and all other kinds of things. And what it does for this is it also kind of cleans out your stomach and gets you ready to soak in all the nutrients of the juice without having anything like slowing you down. Pretty good. No, it is, it is pretty good. We gotta wash. Welcome to the cooking show. I have Valerie. I don't know how to cook. I only know how to nuke things. In fact, I um, actually screwed up hard boiling eggs the other day. But we're not cooking, we're actually making the juice. She's washing the carrots. And over here, I'm gonna cut the peppers. You get rid of the parts, because this adds a little bit more bitterness to the, the juice. Well, notice we're not experts in the kitchen. Not at all. And then usually I just rinse the seeds What about off. those seeds? The thing is that to get the best nutrients out of the fruits and vegetables, you want them fresh. And within fresh. 15 minutes of juicing, they start to lose some of the, the nutrient, the benefits, nutrient because benefits. the antioxidants in the, the vegetables and fruit start to react with the oxygen in the air and you start to lose some of the aid. So you gotta make them and drink it. Drink it and make it, right? Yes. What about the lemon and orange? Can we just put them in like this? You can. There's actually some nutrients in the skin. However, if you're not buying organic, you shouldn't because the skin soaks in the pesticides. But on top of that, it adds a lot of bitterness to the drink. So we peel ours. But we can't not refrigerate the oranges because they'll get eaten in this house. So we hide them under green things. This is the concentration that goes in peeling an apple. A lemon. Just check it. If you don't get your nail right between the, the rind and the actual fruit, you end up 
breaking the fruit and then you lose all of the juice all over your hands. And if you have any cuts on your hands, it hurts. Here's breakfast. And then we're putting a container there to catch all the juice. Finished product. Gotta shake it. You gotta shake it and then we're gonna pour it. It's refreshing, it's really good. I'll be right there. So, once the conference got going, which was primarily based around mobile apps and uh, mobile marketing, they had a bunch of speakers that came on one after another. The flow was real good. Got a lot of good notes, got a lot of good tips and the panels were very informational. The thing we'd like for you to take away from this panel is that there is no time like the present to start a company in Miami. After several of the speakers they had at the end of the day, I think they said it was special plan for us. I think it was a little more in the realm of unique. Thank you to Superman as a way for you to recharge. Where they brought on a self-proclaimed recovering lawyer turned bongo basher to energize the crowd better. Something that makes even more of a contribution. Ah, sound. To amplify that vision, sound, and frequency. Hey, 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 hey. One, two, three, four. Ah. Ah. Yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out, if you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?